All right, guys, so we are in the uh, in the car here, in the 4S. I'm gonna go ahead and crank it up, do my uh, walk around. Then we're gonna segue into a uh, everything works on the interior video. So this will probably be a little on the uh, long side. So get a beer or get a coffee and enjoy. I do realize the irony that I live in the South and I listen to country music. There is no need to point that out. So obviously not a cold start. Uh, I just finished the driving video. So let's talk about the car. It is definitely, I would put it on the higher end of the driver quality spectrum it is not perfect nor do i want anyone to think it is perfect uh, the wheels have a few scuffos there's a tiny ding on the right quarter i tried to get a picture of it but i don't even know if it shows we're gonna walk in we're gonna walk up to the quarter see if i can locate it right here super hard to see but just uh, take my word for it it is there I don't want anybody getting it and saying oh there's a ding on the quarter uh, okay let's talk about these vents obviously they, they are not supposed to be painted they are painted the bumperettes are also supposed to be black so at some point over the last 20 years, uh, somebody had the bumperettes painted, and at the same time, they painted the rear grills. Doesn't look horrible. I kind of like it. We have the cracks in the taillights. That pretty much every 4S on the planet has, unless you go by new lenses and lord knows how much those cost same thing over here the grills are painted as we know they are not supposed to be painted if the next owner really wanted to you could put them back to the uh black plastic look. If, I, if anybody is wondering, which you probably aren't, did take some pictures back there. I thought I had shade, but then the sun came out. Okay. So while we're over here, we're gonna demonstrate the drop-down feature works on the passenger window. You might say, oh, that's not a big deal. But it's a pain when it doesn't work, and that means it needs a new regulator. So always make sure the drop-down works. So on the passenger seat, not much to demonstrate functionality over here. The seat back is powered. It works. The adjuster lever for up-down 
is not broken. So this uh, seat has this line that I see on a lot of 996s and 986s. The leather in this little area is hard, but not here. It's something with where Porsche sur sourced these seats from. I see this all the time. It's really strange. A line develops in the middle of a panel and a little bit of the leather gets a little harder than the other panel. Definitely a little of an anomaly. Okay. So the cubby over here is good. Not broken. Turn the lights on. Okay, lights, hazards. Same thing over here. Cubby's in good shape. Driver's seat. Functional. Right. Go to the front here. like the uh, side marker is out over here. I have about a hundred of those bulbs at home. I will replace it. Not a big deal. Demonstrate the drop down works on the driver's side. Again, you may think not a big deal. It's a pain to fix. Because I fix a lot of them. Okay, we're going to do our mirrors. Obviously at temp, temp gauge is good, oil pressure is good, voltmeter is good. Uh, let's check our wipers, let's check our cruise. I have used it, you're going to have to take my word on that one, hard to <coughs> demonstrate. Check the horn. Cup holder is good. The cover is cracked. Like every 996. Door locks, check. We do have two keys, by the way. Two keys. Defroster, check. If you want to turn off PSM, check. Climate is fully functional. You can hear that. Well, I don't know if you can hear the pitch change, but I can when the compressor goes off. Uh, 
my windows. Yeah, well, they obviously work. Can't imagine anybody selling a car and bring a trailer with a window that are not working. I guess it's happened. Ashtray stays closed. Cubby hinge is good. We covered that cubby. Glove box shocks are good. By the way, I have all the, I had to have a second key made. So I have all the immobilizer codes, lock codes. E-brake adjusted properly, meaning it doesn't go all the way up wherever it should be. What, like five or six clicks? Uh, let's see, anything else? Uh, overhead lights. And they open with the door like they're shed. That might be it. Uh, so this is the new key right here. We're 12 minutes. Will anybody actually watch this whole video? To be determined. Oh yeah, both uh, covers are way long gone. No surprise there. I've had some luck with uh, aftermarkets, you know, like eBay, Amazon specials. Um, I need to save a good seller because sometimes I get them and they just don't fit right. And then sometimes I get them from some people and they're perfect. But most people, uh, honestly, probably don't care. Alright. Cool. And if I forgot anything, or missed anything, or you'd like more pictures or videos, by all means, just uh, shoot me an email or drop a comment. Thanks.